All right, so got a couple things all ready to go. Got the tripod, of course, gonna need that because uh, I'm gonna get down in this ditch a little bit here so we can shoot up this way, which means we're gonna get a nice long shadow around here, which is gonna be awesome. So can't wait for that. Um, got a bean bag so I can lay on the ground and get some low shots. And I brought this little ladder with me as well on this ladder. Um, I'm probably going to take some shots probably from about here, but it just allows me to get a little higher so I can get uh, more of the, the top of the car to shoot down on the car. And look at what else I got for my gear. I didn't bring a lot because uh, I didn't think I'd need a lot for this. I have my camera, of course. I got the 24 to 105 on there. I got the 70 to 200, the F4, uh, which is going to be great. I got a couple. Um, couple polarizers as well. I don't have any of them on. I'll probably start without them. And I brought, um, that's the 100, 100 millimeter macro. In case I need that, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any interiors. We'll see how much time we got. Anyway, that's what we got. So we're just waiting for the car to get here. We should be rolling here any minute. Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Lamborghini, uh, some of the process and what I had done for um, for this uh, particular photo. Um, this location that I chose is the same one that I did the Corvette, the C8 Corvette, uh, a couple weeks back, and I did like it for a couple reasons. Uh, the privacy, it, uh, there is an office building at the end of the road, but uh, after hours, uh, of course, nobody going there, but um, also the sunset at this time of year of where the sun sets. You can see, of course, that's that's definitely optimal. Um, so I did look for some locations that worked in terms of privacy and sunset as well. And this was perfect. Nice and close to my house as well. So um, and uh, if you look on Google Maps with this location, there's actually a lot of trees around, but they have cleared out the trees uh, and in the trees, you can just go down and you can do a little shooting underneath there and point up and get some things in the in the foreground. So it was great, but uh, I wanted to take a couple minutes and go through um, some of the steps, what I did to this photo uh, to get to uh, the final result. So here we are in Lightroom, and the first thing I did in Lightroom, now we're looking here, and this is the photo straight at a camera. Um, so I was quite happy with how it looked right at a camera, but uh, I did do a, a couple adjustments, and I'll switch over to this photo here. And I did warm it up. I did want uh, quite a warm photo with the sunset coming, on, so coming in, so I did bump up the temperature a bit. Uh, in terms of the exposure, I did take that up just a bit, as well as the contrast to give, uh, give the car some contrast here. Kind of darken some things as well and in the background. But also, uh, I did take the highlights down. Now, it wasn't too bad, but in terms of some, and we'll switch back here and look at this, we're looking at just a bit. Now, this detail that's here in the car, um, that's fine. I, I kind of like how it is, but I really just wanted to take it down just a bit. Um, and what I did is I decreased the highlights for this uh, for this portion. Um, shadows I wanted to increase, uh, same thing. Now, we're taking down pretty much the highlights here, but I did want to bring out the shadows on the side of the car just to bring a little more detail. Um, to this side here with this this nice reflection we have on the side here I really like. Um, and um, the clarity, I didn't bring up any clarity in the entire photo because I didn't want to really bring more attention to this background. Uh, with the vibrance I did take up, but at the same time of increasing the vibrance, uh, I did decrease the saturation. Now I did have a couple adjustments here and I did use a brush and we'll click on that and I'll show you the overlay. Now the overlay is on the car and uh, for this overlay, it's just taking the clarity up on just the car. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I do this a lot and it's it's really the purpose of doing that is to bring attention to the car, just a little bit more punch um, on the car itself. And that's pretty much it for adjustments in Lightroom. It didn't need a lot. I did want to take out the chromatic aberration and I did want to enable the profile corrections uh, because looking back here, if we switch back and forth, uh, you can see there's a little bit of correction here, 
But uh, also I wanted to take out uh, some of the vignetting on the side. If I wanted that, I wanted to add it on my own. Um, so I did want to correct it. And looking at what else we have here, we can see with the vignetting, the post crop vignetting, uh, I did just use just a bit. Uh, and that just brings in a little darkness to the left corner. To the right, you're not going to see much here in the left because this is pretty close to getting blown out. And up here, it doesn't really matter much to me. And that's it. And then we took it into Photoshop. And uh, for Photoshop, for some of the adjustments and some of the things I wanted to do, um, now I do have all of the layers here turned off. And we'll just go through and uh, show you exactly what I had done to the photo. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do is the cleanup. Uh, you'll see there's some holes here in the ground and some stains. I don't know what they are, obviously from, from something, but I wanted to take those out. So if we put the cleanup layer on, um, it just takes out a little bit of those. Not all of them. I did want, you know, some of the, the little rocks and things. And some of these cracks just due to the, the surface area and where the situation is. Um, I did want to take that out. Um, one other thing I took out as well, you'll see this sign in the background here. Um, it was an easy thing to clone out, so I just want to take it out just to clean up that little area there as well. Uh, and looking at some of the cleanup, the car itself did not need too much cleanup. Uh, there was a couple little things here reflected from something here on the ground. Um, I just used the clone stamp tool and just kind of got rid of those and went around. And even the front of the car didn't have a lot of... Uh, a lot of debris or anything there, so I just took the uh, the clone stamp tool and uh, or the uh, spot healing tool, apologies, and kind of just went through and cleaned up a little bit of that. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was the headlights, so the headlights were not on when I shot the car, so the headlights in the Huracan, which are um, quite easy to replicate because they are um, they are pretty much straight lines, uh, so that's easy to use the pen tool and trace around it. So what I did with that, zoom in here, take a look. So looking at this, um, this doesn't need a lot because with the angle, you're not going to see a lot of the headlight, but this one definitely does. So turning on those headlights here, uh, what I did is I used the pen tool and made a selection around all of them. And then I selected them all and I wanted to fill those with white. And after I did that, I did use a little bit of Gaussian blur uh, just to blur it just a bit so it wasn't super sharp. And I, then I used an outer glow and we'll click on this. And just using the outer glow here, and that just adds a little bit. So let's turn this on and off. You'll see how it just adds a little bit of effect to those headlights. And uh, the next thing, and we're zooming out, take a look at the whole photo. Now, the car in the background, I think it's looking pretty good so far, I'm making good progress, but I did want to bring a little bit of, um, a little bit of more to the environment. Uh, and that's of course adding smoke to the photo. Now I usually do just a just a little bit, and it's very uh, it's very subtle. Uh, but I did want to add a little bit more here, especially with the sun. We'll see the sun. It's pretty much coming directly towards the camera, and you can see there's a little reflection on the car, which I like. Um, I do like that. There, some people be like, "That's got to go," but uh, I really do like it in this photo because you can see it, and you can see kind of the sun going straight down. But with that, I wanted to add the smoke as in having sort of the light coming through the smoke itself, and I wanted to add quite a bit to it um, to really separate it from the background a little more. So we'll look at the smoke here. And how I did this is I painted over with a smoke brush and I sampled the color from, I think right around here, around the sunset. Uh, and I did keep it quite high, <clears throat> excuse me, quite high. So you'll see the smoke, it's at opacity of 100%. And how I masked around this car is I simply made a selection. Uh, we'll load the selection here. And there's a selection. So I made sure I was very careful going around the, uh, the top of the car because uh, of course the smoke is behind. The great thing about the Huracan is that due to the design, uh, it's very sleek. It doesn't have a lot of things that are sticking out really hard to really get around with the pen tool. Um, even though the pen tool is very, it, it's quite easy if, if you want to take your time and trace through it. Uh, when you have a car like this that you can simply go up and over, uh, it's just so much easier to do. So, and here on the bottom, it didn't really matter because I could just use a brush later and kind of clone that out. Um, but other than that, the smoke really started around the back wheel here and really ended up, you know, near this, the windshield around here. So I didn't really bother going around the bottom. Didn't really need to do that. 
So taking off that selection there and uh, now smoke background. I did add a little more smoke now that we have this. I did want to add a little bit to the right here. Just this portion, a little bit too dark. And I assume that if there was some sun coming in and there was some dust in the air, you'd probably see a little bit here as well. So I did add a little bit to that. And uh, the infinite color, what I did is, uh, I kind of closed this off, but uh, I did uh, generate it using the infinite color tool. Uh, and just add a little bit of color toning to the, the photo. And I did reduce it quite a bit. Let's turn this on. And it's down 79%. That's not as bad as I, I, I thought, but we'll turn it on and off here. Uh, increases kind of the exposure, just the exposure a bit, uh, but also adds a little bit of a little bit of color tone. It's not much, uh, but it's just uh, just a little subtle little little bit to it. And the final thing was uh, a curves adjustment, uh, and the same thing with the curves adjustment. Um, even though this increased it, I wanted to bring it back just a bit. It was just a bit too bright, so I just added a cu uh, curves adjustment. Oops and just brought it down a slight. So you can see it's very slight and I just wanted to bring down the darks just a bit there. And that's pretty much it. So um, what I was doing with this photo, I was standing on the ladder. You'll see when I started the video, I had a ladder uh, and this was exactly the purpose I brought it for so I could get high on the car. Uh, I wanted to have the angle where we can see most of the top of the car as well as the side. Uh, and this is exactly, exactly how I want to compose. So I'm glad I brought that. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again in the next one.